Previously on Two Texans Travel. We stay in an orange grove we thought was peaceful, but turns out to be really loud. Oh, and we give Skipper a shower. Good morning. It is another day, and it's another day that we're leaving another RV park. We are in Bakersfield at the Orange Grove RV Park, and we are headed to Arizona, specifically Parker, Arizona, where we are staying in a state park. It's called Buckskin Mountain State Park. We're super excited to get back to the state park. We've been staying in RV parks for the past few weeks, I'd say, and we are ready to get back into nature on the bikes and all that good stuff. So we're super excited to head out here today. Bakersfield has been interesting. The town is quite crowded, lots of traffic, very hard to get anywhere. Like million red lights, million cars, very city. A little shocking to our system after being on the coast. So we are ready to get back into nature and I'm pretty sure Arizona is going to offer a lot of nature because it's desert and we're going to be by the Colorado River doing some hiking and good stuff. So we're really stoked. Show you around Orange Grove a little bit. So it's really cool. They have all these orange trees. There we are. Site 12. And plenty of space between the spots. See our next spot, neighbor, be right there. Third spot. But yeah, it's really neat. They have an area for full timers over to our left, and it is packed out. I'm thinking possibly due to Veterans Day, a bunch of people have come in. Maybe they offer a raid or something, but anyway, it's a pretty nice park. We've enjoyed our time here. It's like kind of a reprieve from the city. The only downside is, as you can hear behind me, all of the highway noise. And there's a train that goes by quite often. So if that bothers you, then maybe not the best place, but I doubt anywhere else and Bakersfield would be better. Also, you probably can't avoid the train or the highway. Um, it's just a busy place, so. Anyway, it's very pretty, very peaceful, very big, huge resort. Also, this time of year, I don't know if they do it all the time, but they have donuts every morning at eight. Donuts and coffee, which is really nice and bad for our waistline, but we never have donuts, so. And they're not just like, grocery store donuts. They're like donut shop donuts and they're really good. So it's a beautiful park. We have enjoyed it and just wish we could have picked some oranges. They're not quite ripe yet. As you can see, your skipper and the oranges. Right, to the pool. Before the pool though, they have this like general store thing. That's not a store. Mark thought it was, but it's not. It's just like a lounge. I think it's closed up in the off season. Um, dogs aren't allowed on the grass, but they have all these nice, they have all these nice um, dog parks, little, not dog parks, little dog runs um, all throughout the park. Sorry, skipper's on the grass. Um, just like there, and they're kind of all throughout, so you can quickly take your dog to the grass. So here's the pool, it's super nice, there's the office, Some cool trees. They got a lot of little things if you need it. It is a good sand park, so you get discount. You come in here, I mean, you can tell how big this place is just by how many entry lanes there are. And I'll tell you, they do get stacked up. Like, even while we've been here, <laughs> we'd see three or four in a row. It's just crazy. But it's, I would say, fairly empty. I'm sure in the summer, this place gets packed out. 
it's really not too far from like Joshua Tree and all that stuff so I mean it'd be a rough trip but um, you could do it I guess I don't know really what else is in Bakersfield but for like the just being in an RV resort really cool resort so yeah just goes on and on and on I'm telling you, this whole side over here, when we arrived on Thursday, it was empty. There was like one. Now it's just packed out. And there's also, we didn't go to it because we didn't have time and farmer's markets are expensive. If you head down that way, there's this nice big farmer's market where they have samples and like pistachios, almonds, and whatever else they're growing. So that's cool to check out if you're into that kind of thing. And the orange groves, oh, you can pick whenever they're in season, but are ripe. It seems like they're about to turn pretty soon, maybe the next week or two. The other thing that's really weird here is like all the smog. Can you hear the train? That's not even like the close one. I don't know, there's like multiple trains. Um, like the smog or the dust, like, I don't know. This is the first time we've seen that there are mountains around us. I had no idea that this stuff was behind us. Like, what the heck? So, it's pretty dusty. <laughs> I don't know where we're getting into in Arizona, but it should be fun regardless. And yeah, we're back. Yeah, see as the sun get, goes up, that mountain, like, you can't even see it anymore. You can't even tell. All right, that is Orange Grove RV Park in Bakersfield, California. Check it out if you're in the area. Highly recommend. Very cool spot. Lots of friendly people. Nice big spaces. And oranges. Don't mind our trash. We are about to leave. Good job. That was excellent door shutting. <laughs> Donuts I was telling you about. Ooh. All right, you ready? day over here. That's what we think anyway. Eight fifteen, just like I said. <laughs> I know, you were right. You were right. There we are some gotta add that look good. Yeah. A little claustrophobic over on this side. Turn left, then slide There's right. There's that open range. Yep. Nice single line with the big bumper. Big one.
Buckskin Mountain State Park, which is right on the Colorado River. We're excited. Ready to get there. Been on the road for like six hours plus. Yep. Long day for us. down and get us checked in. Hi. Hello. We've made it to Buckskin Mountain State Park and we now have to do the honors. Oh, after passage bear. There's a flag up there. This is a pretty cool spot. I guess it's Veterans Day. Like, the river is a stone's throw away. Isn't tomorrow Veterans Day? I think so. We got this dope spot here. Full hookups. I think it was 32 night. Yeah. Cool. Right on the river. And I mean, the other RV parks that you pass. Other RV parks that you pass just are packed in. Look how much space we got. Dude, I'm about to go over there and check the water. He's about to jump in. <laughs> get ran over by a jet ski. Anyways, we're going to finish setting up. A lot of boat up. activities. Oh. I'm sorry. Go ahead. A lot of boat activities. Yes, there are. Anyways, we're going to finish setting up here and check out the water. Look at him out there, just soaking it in. Oops, screams in the way. Stuffy. There he is. He's just soaking in the river. He loves the water.
today is a beautiful day at Buckskin State Park in Arizona. So beautiful and warm that I'm going to attempt to wash the RV. Um, I've been wanting to wash this thing because it hasn't been washed since the beginning. It's pretty dusty. I want to do it where it's not going to get muddy. We're on pavement here. A lot of parks don't let you wash an RV, but there's nothing specific here that says no <laughs> washing RVs. So we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to try to use as little water as I can. Uh, so let's do it. trailhead's right in the campground and buckskin mountain trailhead simple enough this is actually the lightning bolt trail so up we go <laughs> Buckskin State Park, which is down below me here. We just hiked up to uh, catch the sunset at the summit of this small mountain. And uh, pretty cool. We really like this park. The Colorado River uh, goes around this bend. Our camper is right on the like edge, about 100 feet from the river, so pretty cool. Good park, except they don't allow drones. Like, why not? I've got a drone's eye view right now, but GoPros aren't banned. Whatever. Cool. Up next on Two Texans Travel. We make it to yet another campsite and our water almost freezes. But it's okay because we're at 
the Grand Canyon. Cheers. Cheers. Like and subscribe. Damn it. <laughs> Don't say damn it, you can still use it. Okay. Try it's my singer. He knows all of the songs, all of the words. <laughs> all of the words, yep. All the words are just something. Something, 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 something. World, how much did you just pay for gas? Four ninety a gallon. Wow. Yes, it was crazy. And in twenty miles, how much was gas? Two eighty. Oopsie. Whoops. Almost. We should have just gone out of California, but yeah, we didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. We didn't really know how far the border was. So yeah. California sucks. Gas prices are outrageous. Yeah, your gas prices suck, California. Food. Prime rib buffet. I'll have some of the yellow. Give me some of the blue. Don't go cheap on me. I'll have some of the um, some of the yellow. And don't get cheap on me. <laughs> I always zoom in. Hi. Just see my face on camera. She's always mad because all of the pictures have me in it. Well, I'm always mad because all of the video has her in it. 